What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilburn Reactions. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. We are heading into Molly Hatchet. It's been a while. Molly Hatchet. Um, man, Flirting with Disaster. I always go back to that track. I remember reacting to that, and I told you guys, that is a, a song made for a speeding ticket. I think a lot of that music is made for that. I mean, a whole album, I think you just get lost. Lost. Um, but we're going into It's All Over Now. This song came up a lot. Uh, even when we missed it, people was like, hey, I remember I sent you this reaction a long time ago. You never got to it. If you come back, you know, can you do it? And I was like, yeah, I, I didn't leave. You know, I just figured some stuff out. But I'm back. And uh, let's see. Let's see what they do on this track. I feel like it's about to take it there as, as they always do. <laughs> that to come in there them keys came in there I, I i love it i love it but um i almost said because this album cover comes up a lot on a lot of reactions i do to molly hatchet but then i saw greatest hits up top so i'm like okay it might not be on the same album because i was gonna say a flirting disaster and this this song is on the same it could be still though it's on the same track i'm like they they, they definitely pushed the limits if these two songs are on the same track or same album i should say but those keys sound magnificent coming into this I'm not taking away from that amazing song. I love the solo, excellent placement. But the only thing I wish, I wish they would have had the keys like trickling in the background, like how they were at that one portion. I don't know if it was the chorus or where it fell in the song, but you know when the keys came in, I think the keys on the back of this solo, like right, not too much, but just enough where you hear it. I think would have been perfect with that solo, but I, I, it's still a good good thing. But I think the keys would have. I was immediately thinking, I'm like, okay, maybe they might give me some keyboard here, give me some keys, but they didn't. I wish they would have put that there because I'd have been perfect. Used to wake the morning, get my breakfast in bed. When I get worried, child, she eats my egg and head. And now she's here and there with every man in town. Still trying to take me for that same old clown. Cause I just feel that bad. But it's all over now. See that right there. Imagine that behind that solo. That would have been perfect. And I'm going to go to my comment I made before on music. I feel bad for any person who dated a musician back then because whoever this, I don't, I, I, I don't really think people are just making music like this just to like, I know that people make music to be relatable to the world, but I feel like you have to go through something to make it relatable, right? So whoever this song this woman is about, imagine walking the earth and they make this song about you saying you've been with every man in the world, right? And then you got other people out there relating to this topic of this song, and it is about you. How do you live on with yourself? That's why you got to be careful. You got to be careful.
that was a clean track. I like it. It, it kind of gave me like a flirt of disaster vibe, you know, pedal to the metal. Um, but I, I really like my favorite part. I really love the keys added in this, in this song. Like, I think the keys were really a huge part, like, especially the way he was playing, like the way he came off, like, I always say you're either going to get the keys that's going to play on the melody, like the entire song, or you got that fill in void. And I feel like the keyboardist in this song was filling in the voids and you heard the keys sporadically coming out at you throughout the entire song, which sounded amazing. The solos, they gave us two um, electrifying solos. I love it. And then the keys kind of at the second solo at the end of the song, you see the keys fading in there. So that's where I thought that blend came great. And I thought they would have added that in the middle, but they didn't. But like I said, I'm not taking away from the song saying it made it worse. I just thought in my opinion, like adding the keys right there would have been a good element, but all in all, amazing song molly hatchet always brings it to the table um i i think this is a group i forgot about as far as like when i was talking about albums and stuff when i was like talking about the album reviews going through a molly hatchet album review would be pretty insane i think uh because i love what they play at the energy they bring to the table um this is definitely up there i i honestly might throw this one like right neck and neck with flirting with disaster like i feel like flirting with disaster is electrifying and i'm not taking it but i feel like this song could be right there too um because it has that kind of melody like flirting like it's it's electrifying. You're going to get a ticket with this one, too. But Flirting with Disaster just kind of has that extra little ump on it because it's a little bit more electrifying and longer. Um, I think the song could have went a little bit longer. But all in all, this is it. This is it. Molly Hatchet definitely is bringing it to the table. They always do, though. But let me know what you guys thought down below. Let me know, know what you guys want me to react to next. Um, I appreciate you guys who have been sending over those documentaries or anything you guys been wanting to react to. My email is down below. For those who don't know, it is Reactions at yahoo.com. Um, I will tag it. I know a lot of you guys have been acting, asking how to send it either there or my social media links are down below. Um, you can send it there to any of my social media platforms. I do receive it over there. Sometimes I'm not able to respond to everyone who does send them, but I do do them. And then some of you guys will see me do them and say, Hey, yeah, he reacted to it. I mean, I did read it. Um, but that is the best way to get it to me. Uh, I'm not familiar with what's out there in the documentary world, like with these artists, but I love what you guys have been sending. So if you do have some, you guys want me to react to or like, Oh, go do this documentary or this one's cool. I still need that Elvis part two. Someone told me about that. I have not received it yet, or maybe I need to go check my other social medias, but I am still looking for that Elvis part two of that documentary. Um, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I looked up part two and it's not popping up or unless it's titled something different. But if somebody has that, please send that over to me. But thank you guys as always. I will see you guys in the next one.